able to avoid it. Slows Android down, only so slightly, but Marv's able to get the drop on them. It's a bomb buddy kill here for NRG to start things off. 4v4, and with the dark cover so deep on the side, Vans, this is a post plan. Yeah, I, I'm expecting that a lot too from NRG. The, the buddy system between the two duelists seems to pay off for the U control, but the early flank that you saw from Baby Bay already got denied. So NRG are looking in a good spot in his post plan. EU gets hit pretty hard through mid, though, and here goes Zachary just trying to make the way through to U-Haul now. Another Ooh. flashpoint used for Corey. Claims shanked with the paint shells. Zachary, are you kidding me? <laughs> Sob was not even visible to him there. Looks like a pot shot that I was able to yield him the kill. Now in a 3v2. Daps has showers, but is challenged by Corey and Raucus cleans up EU. Quite a clean little retake there by face. Assembled awfully quickly. That was very clean. And we joked about it in the past when we were casting phase in the, let's say, midday. Yeah, he was able to find that kill. He comes to squeeze a little bit. Som's already fallen down now. Paint shells falls. Octagon's going to force Android back a little bit. That's going to hurt in the morning. And... Faze have this on lock. Uh, it was a flash point. I mean, to get the last kill quite easily there. And like I said, three versus energies uh, raise. I mean, that fault line really throws a spanner in the works here for Ren RG. They still want to work onto the site. Cyber Cage is there and flash point is going to pay off. Zachary, though, doesn't expect Daft to push so deep through U Haul now. And EU's going to have to plant. Phase plan for now, just wait until everybody's in position. There's still two people low on HP, though. Corey, they're on a bonus. It's not too bad. You want to try to get this round, and you'll be super happy, and you, you'll be you'll, you'll be accomplished right now if you're able to stop energy at this point. Corey tries to push close towards showers with their blast pack. Does not find anything. EU's done a good job of keeping his head down right now. And look, he does have a recon ball, if required. Rokas. A little bit of action here in U-Haul. Here comes a defuse attempt. Baby Bay gets rid of Shanks and Raucus is there. It's a 2v1. Okay. FaZe have turned it around somehow. And Som is 11 HP. It's not going to be enough. And FaZe get themselves the brace. The full three rounds to start the match off. And I'll be very pleased to get a win. He's nearsighted. Bomb Buddy gives him a tickle. And he's going to go down there to actually the latter half of the paint shells. Not ideal, but Android is able to find one. Just, again... Opportunistic play here from Hooker, but here come the knives. Baby base throwing shapes. And Marv is on the flank here. This is going to be pretty brutal for NRG. Still a 2v2, though. Again, another kill found with just the Sheriffs. NRG wow. cobbling together whatever. Okay, but now you're fearing to try to take over that A side. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh Marv. Okay. The smoke clears. Still, Rockers is able to trade out that kill, and that's what FaZe are doing right now, Vans. They, they play so aggressively, but there always seems to be a contingency in place. Yep, this is where they, they play the numbers. Get kills, trade, fall back. I really like this right now from FaZe. Right, passive hold on the side here for Corey. Dark covers up. Oh, dear. There could be problems here. The curtain <gasps> comes down, and that's the showstopper still. Android going to find Corey as he leaps across the site, and we are in a 2v2. I was going to say. have the players in position, but run it back here for Android to get some info. Maybe, maybe a bonus kill, but that's less likely. Yeah, he's pushing them back all the way, too. So they're both having to play back towards spawn. The thing is, you don't have any smokes. You have selfish smokes. You have a recon dart that you're winning for, but that allows Baby Bay to sneak into the site. Som, though, has a feeling, yeah, he'll get a push from this direction. Baby Bay not even scoped in, so that's a fairly elementary pickup for Som. Rokas has a recon bolt here, but again, uh, he's dealing with two players facing very different angles into the shadows here now. And Som's going to be able to spot out Rokas. They know exactly where he is, and a little bit of cheeky footwork there for Som. Means that Android finds the kill on NRG. Right here, but now Shanks just went through the portal. The thing is, Corey's still at Octagon. He could backstab some people right now. They're not ready for advance, and the first head goes rolling. Som is down, and it's a 4v2 situation here. Hunter's Fury going to be used here from the back of the site. EU knows that his goose is cooked. Right through. EU now, our drone. Corey gets caught here, so Shanks gets an opening. Takes just a little bit of damage now, but Raucus gets a little bit more nervous about um, what might be coming. Okay. Curveball around the corner, trying to hold from that position. Raucus able to find the one kill on Android and get away. This is buying a lot of time. Here. Oh! A second kill on top of the container, and now we're in a 3v3. He's done his job. I mean, they lost Corey early into the round. He's holding in the back of the site, letting his team rotate as fast as they can. The good news is that finally we get a spike down for energy, and we can oh, finally no. potentially use a, sh a, a Hunter's Fury for a pulse plant. The knives, they are out. And Baby Bay taking his time, pushing onto the site now. Fault line, they're just thrown over container and the dash in. Cloudburst also used phase very quickly. Reestablish some control of the site here, but they still need to push at the extremities and Daps is waiting. He gets himself too. The man's been so hungry. And now it's up to Marv to try and make something happen. Eventually, I'll run it back. 
What is, I mean, baby back oh. again. The oh. audacity on this man. Android just gets his head locked off. Some obviously teleporting into a pretty nasty position here in Elbow, but reveals himself rather early. Again, NRG are shorthanded in a huge way. That momentum. Yeah, oh, that ship man. is well and truly sailed. What a fury. They just know there's one player on you, and that's it. Yeah, a bit of damage on the baby bay there, Marv. Excuse oh, me, Marv! God. Straight through the teleporter and straight to safety. He goes low. Zachary does fall, but baby bay sat in the back of the site, ready to receive an android. All on his oh, lonesome, no. and there's the information. Marv sees everything he had to, and maybe a little bit that he didn't want to. And that's it. It's they saw they saw one guy towards you, but they didn't know there was three. Android now is, I mean, he's trudging into U-Haul. This is not a sprightly walk by any stretch. He knows that there is a almost insurmountable task ahead of him. 37 seconds left in the round. Either NRG have uh, no time left in the round or plenty of time and not enough players. It's one or the other for them. <laughs> they just want their cake and eat it too. Android, he's done with the diet. Of course, right. And Corey's going to wait around the corner here. He will be able to get him, but the base will still be able to get to the site. Three, four players here into the post plant. Som is in the most front and center position. He's able to receive Marv, but the response is quick. His baby base snapped his head off. Oh my, this is going to go one way very quickly. Shanks is able to get rid of Corey inside U-Haul. The frenzy rings out. It's a 3v2 in the post plant, and Baby Bay, oh, nicely no. set up by Zachary. I mean, this is what people have been asking for, to see FaZe start to use those abilities. Because they're just letting FaZe into the site. So you're giving a lot of macro control for FaZe. They're just capitalizing on it. Wow, I mean, EU's able to find Zachary through the smoke there. Those are the kind of things you can't really account for. But yeah, NRG put themselves automatically in a retake position. They stacked two players towards Elbow, and it got smoked. I mean, what do you do? You have to wait. Our patience seems to be paying its own kind of dividend for NRG right now. Oh. Post plan is here. Corey is unhinged, apparently. He just walked straight into that. A bunch of NRG players <laughs> ready to tear him to pieces. And now Raucus is left with what remains, which is not much at all. NRG, yeah. a must-win round. They do take it. It does make sense in the end. I mean, it's a, it's a bonus round for here for BB Bay and maybe even Showstopper into oh. the site. And yet, yeah, there you go. Oh. Rush into this shower as well. That was a fault line setup. That wasn't even the Rolling Thunder. And both yep. NRG players get punished for trying to aggressively take control of showers. It's all going wrong for NRG. It's a 3v5 now, but Baby Bay's got the knives out. You know, he's ready to throw. Oh, oh my NRG God. He walks straight into it. He's already got himself in such a far forward position now. Android's able to deal with that threat, but FaZe have four up against one with three ultimates. And Android says he blinked and his team was just gone, vaporized. Even EU rotated with his knife out. They did not expect how close Baby Bay was going to be into that one. And there you go. Android falling. Map point on. Variation catches NRG unaware. That one single variation caught them unaware, and now it's looking good here for energy at least. But you do have an all from... Okay, he's done. He's gone. Things are safe now. <laughs> I like it. You, you gave yourself some excitement for just a moment there, but NRG, they're back in the driver's seat here, Van City. And with plenty of those ultimates to work with, Showstopper. Yep, that'll put Raucus to bed. That one was sent FedEx. <laughs> <laughs> Confirm those kills. Will... You're good. Yeah, he, he will slink away. Okay, well, th this is not so bad, but the thing is, I'll, I'll, I'll count for the comeback, but this is still a very hard battle here for energy. Android from a comfortable little corner here on the side. He and Shanks can really crossfire this nicely. And a bit of aggression from EU as he just pushes straight out of elbow and tries to nip this in the butt as early as possible. Marv did the teleporter with the candlestick. It's a game of clue for you. It's going to be Shanks with four kills. I'm at the site, which means that FaZe may want to try and execute here. I mean, two curveballs for the price of one Android sends him around the corner, but it might not be enough here. Are you kidding? Som now has to get to the B side. Android and EU just get rolled. And Corey finally makes his way with perfect timing through Hooker and catches the player unaware. Som cleans up Marv, though. That is quite nice. 2v2 in the post line here, and Daps is trying to wrap around, but Som... He has other ideas, looking to take thing in, things into his own hands right now. And Raucus, once again, has to try and win the game for FaZe. It's a tickle on the side. No. He gets the spray down. Three bullets. It's not oh. enough. He has to reload. He wasn't ready. Daps will punish him for that no oversight. Time. And NRG... Uh, 
down towards Fountain for phase and caught two, three players off guard fully blinded. That's all timing right there. So both of these teams... And it soaks up the, the tripwire, and this is about to get nasty, baby. Bay. Hey, across the site! Okay, traded instantly, though. Looks like there could have been something there. Hunter's Fury also being used, and that's the second kill. Daps is down. Remember, FaZe don't have much with guns, but a Phantom was able to be picked up by Corey. Oh! Mouth is low, but finds Som's head. And this isn't, isn't how it was supposed to go for NRG at all. They were just starting to find their stride, and FaZe, they take the spanner, slam it into the works. And now they're in a 4v2 from the shadows he's used. Marv gets some information about exactly what's happening on the A site, but FaZe look like they're here to stay. No attempt at rotating. EU sends the spike loose, but Zachary, he trades. And now it is Android with it all to do, and the spike is off to B. Oh. He got the dink, but it's through the wall. Thankfully, it's just a classic, so it doesn't hurt Shanks that much. But they know that the flank is coming, so this is a great pulse plan for FaZe. Flash point, pushes out Zachary, close range, gets rid of Shanks, and now the 4v3. From the extremities, NRG are trying to filter their way in. They manage to get themselves on the site here, and Marv needs to be careful. Flash will go up to try and facilitate some sort of defuse, and the paranoia renders Corey oh. blind. That's a half defuse. Someone's got to stop. Oh my God. They've got to get involved. But FaZe, they let it happen Enemy under the... Ooh, he kind of gives away his position, though, and, and then he has to use a Tailwind to get away as Baby Bay chooses to pinch the site at just that moment. Cyber Cage goes up here, and once again, NRG say, okay, look, our arsenal is more impressive. We can leave a post plant going here. Shock dart thrown in. Oh Android boy. just wants to walk up on the side and make something happen, but he's traded. Could be messy here. That's an EU, though, get involved. Lose a couple of guns, but nothing person half anchoring inside the site. Everybody else is stacking five four five players five. at the EU side. Oh and now the camera gets enough information. Here comes the five man retake from energy based off EU's utility to get all that information again. Here's the awkward part, though. FaZe are going to be mostly stuck in C long uh, when it comes to interrupting this defuse. Unless Corey yeah. can just hold his ground here on the C site, you can see now the hit is going to come in from back C and from garage simultaneously. Ghostopper, nothing found for it. Nice use of the tailwind there. That was beautiful. I mean, you have, yeah, Shanks is able to get ahead of Corey in that regard, but it's a one for one. Corey stands his ground, but eventually gets brought down through the box. And here's what many FaZe fans might have been fearing. They're stuck in long. Looks like that hot hand didn't quite land where it was supposed to, but Baby Bay, Cyber Cage, undeterred. Wow. The, the things as long as possible, that really facilitates this C push. Well, the flash and dash to come in. I, I do like this. Give him the sight here for FaZe. When it comes down to play the retake, the thing is FaZe have nowhere to hide because there's not going to be any smokes to cover up that long C. Look, there's the timing. Daps has such good timing. Able to catch Corey as he tried to make his way towards Garage. And once again, if NRG can keep FaZe away from Garage, FaZe now have to try and retake from C Long and C Long alone, which yep. is always risky. It's re it's squeaky bum time when that D2 starts to happen like this. Hot hand, this time it actually gets into Cubby. The baby base still able to find a kill on Som. Daps on the wraparound though, and Zachary was not ready for it. Raucous inside oh the cyber cage. Oh my, that is filth! 1v3 though, and the defuse is underway. Raucous knows that he's Love about it. done. There's the curveball, and there's the round. Another energy comes up on top. Android, white knuckle grip on his mouse there, as he heard the showstopper <laughs> fired a bit further up on A long, and he realizes he gets to stay alive for just a little longer. Nicely done. Again, double pick A long. This is why NRG are controlling. They know, they must have watched FaZe and go, okay, we know FaZe really exactly. likes to just ram as many players down our throats on this part of the map. Now, Corey. Is in a 1v3. Marv is... Oh, okay. He gets spotted by the camera. So Marv has a very creative approach. I mean, FaZe really got oh. a long way to try and get to A, but it gets spotted out there. Daps, again, patient as ever. The mastermind at work. And there's a rolling thunder, which is very unlikely to be used at all. Paranoia is beautiful, and EU swings on that regardless. 2v4 in the post plant, no less. So Zachary really has to try and hold this corner, but you know he's not going to be using that thunder, and Shanks riddles him with steel. You were just hoping that Shanks didn't get the dash. If Shanks didn't have that dash, it was a maybe. Nine rounds to NRG on the defenses. That is, it is brutal. Oh man, and he even can't clear out Android right now in this corner. He's still staying alive. He's ran down the clock enough for his teammates to rotate. All right, a couple there for Marv. He got into heaven, but it's a little bit too little too late in the day. He's still alive. He's still alive in that corner. They knew exactly where he was at, and somehow they just can't capitalize on that kill because everybody else rotated on time to support him. Raucous had a better angle there for, I mean, yeah, interesting, I guess, the way that he approached that corner. Looks like Shanks wasn't lined up on him, but Raucous has been in this situation far too many times. The unenviable role of being the late rotate to uh, a spike that's already loose <laughs> on the ground and a 1v3. It's an eye roller for sure. An opportunity to maybe 
turn himself into legend, but Raucus, yeah, realizes it's a big... Right now for NRG is when they're playing their attack, they also have Daps planting the camera, the trap wires towards long two, and he's usually holding that solo. So if FaZe wanted to play the same way versus Energy, they had to figure out a way how they want to eliminate Daps as well towards that A spawn. Unbelievably clean from Daps right there. He has his knife out. Yeah, he has his knife out as he gets to the A side. Raucus playing awfully close there. But still, he sells something. Yep. It's NRG now going to make their way through Garage here, and they smoke the back of C, so they'll have a post plant. Definitely. I mean, you die as Daps. The only thing that you really lose is a camera and a trap wire, and when you've done your job to sell the fake and a kill to make it a four versus four, you're really Five happy with that left. result. Yeah, Baby Bay is going to be out in the open once his dark cover dissipates, and he knows the food. He does have a, a tailwind to get out of trouble. Or just getting into more trouble. Yeah, I mean, why did I expect any different? Yeah. <laughs> the rest of FaZe uh, have arrived, though, and they're doing pretty well. Corey just gets two heads, pops them like cherries, and Shanks is... Well, he might be quaking in his space, but just a little bit here. So it's a 2v1. FaZe now clearing the site. They don't have a lot of time left, but it's like that Raucus is the blood object that's thrust down C long, but Shanks deals with him. No defuse as of yet. 22 health. Oh, it was a defuse, actually. Yeah. Shanks wasn't ready. Maybe he... Okay, we actually have proper weapons in these hands. Yeah, and sorry, I meant about the utilities for FaZe that was good and continues to be good right now on the defense as they're looking back with this paint shells into the site. So they're playing the re retake it to B at the same time with a double peek from Baby Bay swinging through. Shanks is 3 HP from that aftershock, but he seems to have done his job. Corey gets taken wow. down, and this force, it's an aggressive force into the round. Ooh, okay, 3v3, but again, no access to, to C is gained through clearing garage, and Baby Bay will eventually be able to stab from there. So, face potentially eventually in a better post-plant scenario now, being able to come from yeah. different angles. You just hope that uh, you're going to be able to shadow step through that trap wire and they don't hear it from C side. That's their detriment right now for NRG, because everybody's playing so close into the site that the pinch would be perfect for the defenders. Okay, well, Marv sends... Some dark cover there. Okay, so the tripwire's been removed. They know he's coming from there, but look at this. Baby Bay's already gotten to the site. Android seems to be ready, though. Already got that curveball available. Raucus goes down, and now we're in the 2v2. Som meets Baby Bay, and it's the 1v1. What a big round for FaZe and Baby Bay. He has to do it here. The 1v1. Try to hang on. It's going to be Som, and he'll be waiting for a chance to get out and interrupt this. Baby Bay's running out of time. There's the peek from Som, but you better believe Baby Bay connects. Som's head goes rolling. Hit though, Vance Lee. Shanks is on the nines at the ready. One left. He thinks about plunging into the... He needs a headshot. No, he doesn't get it. He has to back away, and in the meantime, FaZe are making short work of NRG. They're pinching already from C Long. Another paranoia here from Marv. The dark cover surely won't be up for too much longer. FaZe are happy to allow there to be a post-plant scenario here, but Marv is in danger. Oh, that boy! Not quite as cold as he would have liked to be, but he gets the one kill, and that's enough. Now, Hunter's Fury definitely going to make Damps' life hard. Phase are stacking the rounds up one after another. You're happy here for for energy. One single dap, uh, one single dagger. Sorry, left four shanks is enough to create back of B side right now. He is entrenched, entrenched rather behind enemy lines. Let's see if he can make this work. Android uses that runner back, and all my Van Silly, the trades are back and forth. The three v three now, but the spike has been planted. Yeah, they're going to try to play this retake. You saw that recon guard to just try to clear out and see if there was going to be anything aggressive towards that B side. First, they get in, and this is looking very good for the pulse plan. Yeah, nicely done there. And I mean, I don't know if FaZe really are ready. Before from FaZe on the second half is slowly happening, and Shanks is trying to open things up because they have a force plant, and he's got daggers. Double updraft from Shanks. He actually gets nothing. Sees nothing. You're not ready. No for this. way. Ready for this at all. Oh, Marv sneaks past. I, 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 he, he was sat magic. there on the other side of the dark cover, but he wasn't ready. He was still able to recover that, though, now, and a player advantage for NRG. FaZe push aggressive. They end up just breaking like waves on rock, and now NRG have a chance to stretch their legs and scale into this A site. This is just good of their game sense. Oh, Raucus. That's a knife from Shanks. Clean up there. I, the aftershock was well placed by Zachary, but... Yeah, a little bit hard to catch anyone from NRG with the little information that he had. Raucus was flashed, so he didn't know where NRG were. Correct. Now the Aldrol might spot them as they're both hiding inside the smoke. They're trying to get something done. It's the flash and dash and see if it pays off, but it doesn't. And I was going to say game sense that this is the defense. Or he cancelled it, or he went towards long. He's trying to make FaZe chase after him. Then you had to run it back. Could be devastating. I'm sure he pinged it too, so that's why they shot it out. But this allows Baby Bay to get such a big backstab. They're not ready. Oh, they're not ready for this. Baby Bay, though, born ready. EU actually goes down to the Hunter's Fury. Baby Bay probably would have had that kill anyway because there's no way that NRG expects him to be so close. Now he's in a backstab position, and NRG push forward. 
Snaps an Android, getting it done. Ma playing from the back of B-side. Takes the wind out of NRG sails, but they still have the spike and it's being planted at C. And because of that backstab, they know that Baby Bay is going to come from long C2. So this is going to have to rely on Marv. And why Daps is holding towards this spawn side. It could maybe cut him off on an off angle. But the blades come out. This is still doable for FaZe. It's time to unleash the Smeag Beast. <laughs> Marv goes down and Baby Bay in a 1v2 to save the map. Okay. Ooh. FaZe are quite advanced in A main. Uh, FaZe double back and get rid of him though now. And this is a little awkward because FaZe still have that heaven control. Raucus is still there with... Shock darts, presumably. And Zachary is ambling over now, as we have a 2v3. Yeah, and Yellow Jones going to spot at least one towards Hell. The, uh, the turret also towards A main. So they're okay. They know that both players for FaZe are on top of Heaven, and they have a perfect crossfire for FaZe. Uh, for Energy, sorry. Energy. Okay, Zachary, that is, he's like a kangaroo! No, oh, no. my! What's that, Skippy? You want to destroy NRG on your own? Okay, no worries. It's a 1v1 now. Zachary is finally brought down. Android is still in a, a good position to shoulder peek this and try and get information. It's frustrating for Raucus, but Android is only 26, so just a little, a couple of bullets through that wall will get the job done, but no. Raucus realizes that I don't think... Yeah, he's not half defused, so he has to leave this one, and good composure by Android is... Zachary just went ultra instinct on the site. That's where one of the communications... By the way, Zachary jumping around like that. Crouch on it. Whichever way you slice the smoke is pretty frustrating for the attackers, but Android doesn't seem to be bothered at all. 5 HP <laughs> and a dream and 3 kills for his troubles. His teammate dashes away, his other teammate runs away from the recon or whatever. It was EU there, and then he's just sitting out in the paint shells and mows down 3 and already has an ultimate moving into round 3. Raucus sees the tripwire there and gonna peek out but this is not long for this world android that's because of the brace of kills he found in the prior round this is i mean it's free it's wow, free information okay. free kill free side control for energy and a, and a rifle too face is gonna kill him off the off the ult but that's good enough to allow the plan for energy i thought he was gonna use it but he gets a kill out of it you're happy with that nice by marv there just to finish off the door but make sure he was out of line of sight of anyone on the other side of it there another post pun achieved oh that tower didn't last for too long so I'm as soon as Baby Bay peeks in. Oh, he crouched! Ducked under the shot there from Baby Bay. So random. And now Shanks is stuck inside hell. But I mean, Raucus was hoping to send him there for real. But a Cloudburst is going to make it harder to dig him out. And Daps gets rid of Marv on the periphery. That leaves Zachary on his own. Nice damage on Shanks, but Daps is full health. Zachary knows where he is. No. Oh, and again, Zachary! The young thug steps up. Gets FaZe a huge round. Punches NRG. Zachary. Kinda has, has to intuitively figure out when to peek this. Baby Bay gets rid of EU there, but it's a 4v4. There is a lockdown available for FaZe after Zachary's prior heroics. See if there's any real application for that in a moment now, as most of energy are shacked up in Boathouse here. Hoping a trip to the Caymans might alleviate this FaZe problem, but... Oh, I like no, this. they're gonna have to leave the site now. They're being evicted. Before he gets the paint shells on the daps here, Baby Bay mildly flash, but gets around the corner. They defend that, and two players at the take! Oh my! Zachary the Warden! NRG get put in the slammer, and FaZe get themselves two. I, okay, so I cast a curse this. I said the, the stars were aligned for NRG to get this one just because of how... Sp Baby Bay puts his life on the line to protect that. Really clever. Faze even it up here, and NRG are the ones that have to go down to the, the big irons. But Baby Bay's got bigger dreams. Shanks and Android 4, now to 4v3. Baby Bay's ready to receive yet another 4 raid from Daps in mid, and oh, why not make it 4? You've got to give this guy the ace. You've got to do it. And Baby Bay, he knows that the job's already done here, and this is huge. NRG win the pistol, but that's it. They have been stifled ever since then. Make it 5. He wants it. He'll get it. I just wish that Baby Bay to styled more with daggers for this cage to open. And as soon as it comes down, he might backstab a few guys. No, there's a door that's closed. So well done for energy to take over this A side. The retake from FaZe and alert doesn't pay off. That's sharp from Raucus. Catches Shanks before he can get towards hell. Baby Bay set inside the cyber cage here and doesn't mind. Okay, they actually, yeah, they're able to reveal some of the action. I think they see EU over towards main. Marv is just going to go and try and follow this up now. Wow, wild little peek there. Backs off. Dark cover, very confusing for EU to deal with there. And there's some of that f that pace from FaZe on the retake. Realistically, man, that, I mean, NRG are down two players before the spike even gets planted. Yeah. Uh, Dom by a bunch of players with frenzies, which is the right choice because here it comes. Bori, 
With open arms, he receives Android and Shanks and gives them a lethal bear hug to try and make their way through tree. And Baby Bay gets himself two from heaven. Elementary, my dear Watson, that's what this round is. FaZe don't really need to reinvent the wheel to run over the top of NRG. Daps has to make it happen 1v3 with a frenzy. And, that and Corey gets revealed as he tries to make his way in. This is a short-handed retake attempt here for FaZe. I mean, yeah, they know Corey's there. Now they really know he's there. The Al drone goes <laughs> over the top. Corey's just getting hit with, with every form of utility. FaZe only have Bladesaw to work with here. So it's not as if they have any key ultimates to crack this site open. From the shadows for some, interrupted. He remains in Boathouse. Daps is there. Not good enough. Baby Bay's going to clean him up with the knives up close. There might be something here. Time is starting to tick down, though. Shanks has to go forward, gets rid of Marv, and that definitely takes a lot of the momentum away from FaZe. Corey's going to receive the push, but it's just a kill at this stage, and EU is there for the cleanup. Oh, they made a side step, so he's going to hear him, but at least he gets the kill. So that's very good. I like from me. What's an official Shriot tournament without hard mode anyways? I mean, FaZe don't seem to be bothered by that at all. No cheat codes required, just one crazy baby. Hey. <laughs> nice shot through mid there, though, from the operator. Real, real clean flick. And, oh, I've been there. Faye, uh, Marv forced into a little bit of a, a desperate spray down. Baby Bay, though, is at least there to trade. So that is that is big. That's something that Android maybe wished he would have had uh, after the runner back episode a couple rounds ago. With yeah. Daps. Well, not to see. But at least orb control for NRG. There may be someone to get an ultimate online here, but Corey's ready for this. Oh, he was ready for Shanks to dash across the site. He's traded out early, but Marv's in the corner and at least finds one. Buying a little bit of time for FaZe. Som does get the spike down. Exactly Baby Bay is a long way away, and here's that neural theft that had been held onto by Daps. That was, that's a big one too. That could actually change the chances and probability for energy from winning that round. A one and done angle from where Korra is at. You're expecting his teammate to do a little bit more. But to make it a three on three, energy still has the opportunity to make this board. Tom got revealed by that, but Dax is ready for the push over the top. Baby Bay, a, a very unlikely angle with the operator. He's able to find the kill, and in the shadows, suitably, is Som lurking away. He falls to Baby Bay now, and the 1v1 is happening. Cloud burst thrown out, it's a tickle. Baby Bay is very short on time here, and I, I, he can't see anything. There's too many particle effects in his face. Gretchen from phase into a site. Shanks ignores Baby Bay as he dashes across the site. Android was already ready to receive him there. That's, that's trust in your teammates. Corey and Raucus, though, make this interesting now. That's filthy. Yeah. I mean, it's a spray. You got a couple of frenzies going on. I mean, the frenzy meta still reigns for a couple of the players. And the crossfire, because you want the utilities for the rest of energy, was great to hold that. And now you're on a 2v1 with only 22 HP for Corey. Energy is looking good on his defense. Recon bolt there just to... That'll ping Corey if he peeks out too far. Okay, he actually gets a look at E's shoulder, perhaps. Mm -hmm. So he sends paint shells across the side. None of those... Okay, Android takes a bit of a licking from those, but it's really... He can just throw down the hot hands and be at full health. This is a big job for Corey. He needs headshots. He needs consecutive headshots. Do you know where they're at? Where they're at? It's a big ask. Onto the site. Nope. EU's going to shut him down pretty quick. Uh, but Baby Bay says, okay, I mean, that's uh, that's all the invitation I really need. Shanks is forced to actually back away, but now Android steps up. So in tandem, Shanks and Android really locking this down. And Android can now return. He can top himself back up a little bit, take a bit of a sauna in the corner and phase it down to two players. 40 seconds in the round in the 2v4. You definitely would think that that cloud burst with it was intentional so they could do the bait and switch. And even the lurk from Daps yeah. in the end, pushing out towards mid, confirms the kill and even pings the last player. That's very good for energy. To start things off. Try and get control of tree. There is three players that want to get in here. Raucus though finds the off oh, angle. Man. They're not ready for it. Zachary can still hold the left hand side here. Marved in a position to swing if he needs to. Face now with the player advantage. Remain. They have no information. Nothing. They fly blind and they stick the landing. It's a 4v1 now and Daps who spent all round patiently trying to put something to- But still good enough to try to clear with a smoke into market. The location of that uh, lockdown, I think, is to avoid it being removed by Shock Dart there. It's going to be pretty hard to, well, yeah. to get rid of. EU finds two, though. Through the smoke, no less. Okay. Heads go rolling as Marvin and Zachary know no more. And seconds left. That was the uh, the lockdown just completely removed. I'm a little stunned by how that all went down. Baby Bay's forced to use quite a few knives. Is left with just the one, and that one also misses. He's lost them now. No spike planted yet. But that's still left over towards the B main side here, and FaZe run out of gas. I have to think that was uh, a recon dart that came out there because the open site that was left behind. So this is this is a very interesting position right now for the defenders. FaZe, who've always been a team to find some of their greatest successes in the most aggressive of plays, run the risk of kind of being paralyzed by indecision on this round. Walking oh, into Shakespeare. No. What? Shakespeare's holding.
to the angle already, but still Bayou is able to find a kill. That's that's not okay. That's going to make his way through mid. The door is obviously shut in his face, and now with the showstopper sound ringing out, NRG know it'd be folly to try and peek out into this at the moment. Some in both house. He's ready. EU finds the head of Zachary now, and things start to get a little awkward for FaZe. They're running out of time. 12 seconds on the clock. Heroics from Baby Base. He finds yet another kill, but he needs more. He needs more. Android gets his third. And FaZe is... Other than a coal power plant there, is he? Realizes how many players could potentially leap upon him. Okay. Marved, I mean, he's in a great position here to interrupt that rap from EU. And now, NRG are worried. There could be more backstabs. Marv could try and pressure the heaven position just a little bit more now. You've got a jet in hell. Looks like with knives. Yes, wow. Shanks goes down as well. Baby Bay once more on the kill feed. 5v3. What an important round for FaZe to win here. This is a thrifty round. I can't believe this. FaZe lose a previous round when they get a pretty comfortable access to the A side. But again, it's what happens after that's important. They have two players still in A main three, in fact. So any backstab could be quite risky. Big paranoia too that came in from uh, a main but with that it's just everybody from energy are just going to split into the site with four players at the doorway yeah i mean that smoke does essentially cut four phase but three phase oh, players no. away from the a oh, no. side there raucous he doesn't need to be on the site to get damage done now hunter's fury comes through Corey meets the owl drone shanks meets his face with the shorty Zachary's going to get pushed into by Android now, oh. and Baby Bay, he gets a quick double kill, he oh. made more! The spray transfer was almost there, but three is going to be more than enough, or will it? Android with three of his own, this is a big moment! And that's called on most of the time to make things happen here. The, the trouble here is that Dax Corey. probably won't have a great opportunity to get Neural Theft here, unless he no, gets Corey be by in the middle Corey. of the map. <laughs> uh, no good! <laughs> Corey on a very late lurk here. Van Silly, this is getting a little bit tense now. Android has two curveballs available though. Recon comes out. Som, nice shooting there with the Spectre. Ooh. Is this happening? NRG with two left. Som's going to barrel right into the face of Marvin. It's going to be Corey left on his own. It's a 1v2. The defuse is half. The defuse oh! is not there. Corey gets the clutch. Then NRG. They have to capitalize on that retake to give just enough time for Corey to get those kills. And you saw how late it was for them to turn. Oh no, this is classic phase now. It's inexorable. Oh, I mean, death taxes and phase running at you when they know they can probably win the game. They push straight on in. They get that early kill on Somi. Desperately tried to get away with that shrouded step, but that's not going to happen. Run it back to use for Android, and he actually gets a kill more than just the information. Not Glimmer only that, he killed utility. For NRG, Vensili, maybe some hope here now. And a swarm oh, used no. up on the high ground there, but Raucus may put it to bed with a shock dart. Baby Bay gets revealed, but he's got the knives. He fancies a little bit of argy-bargy. EU goes 